Hello everybody, welcome back and thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so today, as you can see, it is a special fun video that for me is probably going to take a long time. <laughs> you guys all know I have used these stencils before. Now, before I get into details, let me first start off by saying um, workshops. I will be heading to San Diego with Lee and Jeremy from Massey Art Studio. Guys, if you want to come to those classes, we are filling up. The spots are filling up now that the holidays are over, now that Christmas is over and we're in the new year. Spots have been filling up in the last couple of weeks. If you are interested in coming, it is going to be in San Diego, California. And that is going to happen March 1st and March 2nd. You can email us at fluidartwithfriends at gmail.com if you want the registration form and information and all of that. And then I'm heading to Asheville, North Carolina. That is happening on May 24th, 25th, and 26th. And that is going to be with Fluid Art Experience. So that is going to be myself and about five other YouTube artists who are going to be there as well. If you want information on that event, you can go to www.fluidartexperience.com for information and you can sign up there. And as I mentioned, I will be going to Florida and that is going to be in the summer. That's all I'm going to tell you. Uh, in my last video, one or two people guessed correctly on who I will be doing that event with. Um, so stay tuned. Like I said, in the next week or so, I will be announcing along with my partner um, what we're doing, where we're doing it, and who I'm doing it with. So that is coming up in the summer, okay? In July, that's all I'll tell you. Somewhere in Florida in July, with someone who lives in Florida, okay? Um, and no, it's not Molly. So I've had a few of those guesses, but there's other people who live in Florida that um, I'm gonna be doing this with, and I'm so excited. So lots of events happening. So you can come to the West Coast, you can come to Florida, you can come Central to Asheville. I don't know, is it kind of Central? And really, not really? I don't know. My geography in the US is horrendous. So anywho, those are my announcements. Um, my last video, the, it's over there, the black base with the blue, it's still kind of drying. So I will show you that in the next video because it's still a little bit wet. I have been working on this. Now, you may have seen me use these stencils before. They are from Pour Away Fluid Art and that link with the description and all of that is in the description below, that's what I meant to say. You can find information on where I get these and there's also a discount code, okay? So you can find that in the description below. So pour away Fluid Art and you can get a 10% discount. Now I've already kind of started this um, and kind of prepped it, primed it and did maybe half of the job, but I've done this before with other videos. So I figured, if you want to see how I did up to this part, you can check out, I will put them in the in the description or even in the comments if I remember, I will link those videos. I'll also link a few of them up here at the top as this video is progressing. But I did that paint splatter, I did the um, half circles. So I've done these before. So if you wanna check out the older videos, those will be from the beginning, what I did here, what I did, how I put the stencil on, all of that stuff. But I will just kind of run it over with you guys super quick. So when you get stencils from Pour Away Fluid Art, they are this color, okay? They were they are all this color. And these are like a, a plastic, so they're I guess they're cut out with like a 3D machine, a 3D printer or whatever, but they're always this color, this um, copper type color, okay? You can spray paint it whatever color you like. I sprayed it, sprayed it. I spray painted this one silver. You can do it black, you can leave it as is, you know, you can do whatever you want and you only need to spray the one side, okay? So step one, I spray painted this stencil silver, okay? Now, I have this on a wood board. 
here is what I have done. The wood board I get from a store here in London called Bijons, but you guys in the US can get them from Jerry's, from Blick, from uh, Hobby Lobby. So I've got a wooden board, okay? So here's another one here. This is my Cardinals. This is gonna be my one of my next projects. But again, I spray painted them silver. I'm so excited to work on this one. So spray painted it silver. They have so many designs, like I just want them all. So what I did on this board, I taped the edge, okay? Cause I kind of wanna leave this one with the wood showing or you don't have to do that and you could just tape the bottom, which is what I did on this one and I covered my edges in black. So you can choose. You can choose to have your sides covered in the base color that you're doing, or you can choose not to do that and just tape off your sides. So when this is all done and I peel the tape off, it's gonna show the nice wood color, okay? But this one I left it black because I kinda like the black, but because this one's gonna be a white base, I figured the nice you know, birch color of the wood would look really nice. So then what I did was I primed this with gesso, okay? For those of you who don't know what that is, it's like a wood sealer, it's called gesso, G-E-S-S-O. You can get it from your art stores. And I did three coats of that on here. You can do three to four, I would do at least three to be on the safe side because these wood panels, depending on the wood you're using, could be very porous. And then when you put your resin on, the, the wood breathes and all these bubbles start to come up, okay? So the more coats you put on it, the better. Now you're wondering, how did I do the black? Well, I took my Oxide Black by Amsterdam and I did four coats of black. What you could do is do three coats of gesso, white, and then if you want your base to be a different color, then I'll take black and do one final coat of black. I just did four coats of black and it seemed to have worked, but you can do gesso first because that's what gesso is really made for and then do a top coat of whatever color it is you want your base to be. Okay, again, all this I show in real time in those other videos, okay? So then once I had my black base down, what I did was I mixed some crystal resin, all right? I mixed crystal resin, I added some black pigment paste to it, okay? Pigment paste, you can buy from crystal resin, you can buy it off Amazon. I do not use um, black acrylic paint because if you don't know what you're doing and you put too much black paint in it, you will ruin the chemical balance of the resin and it could potentially not cure properly. Um, so I don't typically like to use paint, acrylic paint for my resin get yourself um, a pigment paste, okay? Black pigment paste, like I said, Crystal Resin sells it on their website. You can always save 7% off, buy your resin, buy your pastes off Crystal Resin, save 7% using code CANELA7. So I added some black pigment paste into my already mixed resin. I poured it on the board, you know, used my heat gun, made sure there were no bubbles. And then I took this lovely stencil like this and I went, Oh, this way. See, this side you can still see some of the copper. And so I took my stencil and I went boop and I dropped it. Maybe not from that high, but you know what I mean. I dropped it in the wet resin. And then if it wasn't straight, I used like a tweezers or a popsicle stick to make sure it was exactly where I wanted it to be. And then I let it cure overnight. And next day, here we go. Okay, nice stuck, not going anywhere. Now, don't add too much resin when you're doing the base because it's gotta be a super thin layer because if you do it too thick, when you put the stencil on, there won't be enough of a, of a hole or a crevice in here to fill each channel with a different color resin, okay? So do a very, very thin layer. So today I'm gonna to be working with my TLP Piggies, okay? This is going to be a long, and I mean long process, so I'm gonna do it and speed you guys up and then, but I will tell you the colors I'm using and I'm gonna do one step at a time and I'm gonna mix a little bit of resin at a time because if you watch my previous videos, you will see that I went ahead and mixed a whole bunch of resin, mixed all my colors and by the time I started here and ended up at the end, 
my resin was starting to cure and it got thick and hard and it was a nightmare. So just mix a little bit at a time. I'm gonna mix some in these little Dixie cups and just continue to mix a fresh batch for every section that I'm doing. All right, so I'm gonna start with the water, then I'll do the big balloon, then the little balloon, and so on and so forth, okay? So keep that in mind, mix little amounts at a time because once that resin starts to thicken and get hard, it is a nightmare to try and get resin into these super duper small channels, okay? All right, so I've made sure this is level. Definitely make sure your board is level. So that is level. I've got a bunch of these little cups here, these little medicine or shot glass cups. I'm gonna put my TLP piggies in here and mix, like I said, a small batch at a time. What you also want is a toothpick or um, something with a sharp end to it so that, like this, I like to use my, these sticks here. I get these from the dollar store. They're just bamboo sticks, but I like the point because when you have these little crevices over here, I just use, I just dip it into the resin and I just kind of dab it in here, okay? So get yourself something with a point. So let me tell you the colors. So for the waters down here, I'm gonna start light and end up dark. So I'm gonna start with frost, then I have taffy, and then I have sapphire. And again, these are this little pigment, so this little piggy. You can get them from the Fluid Art Co. website, so that's www fluid-art.co, okay? And they have different, they've got a US shop, a Canada shop, Australia, Europe, whatever. So pick the country. Um, well, there's not that many countries that they have them in, but pick the country. If you're in Canada, choose Canada, whatever. And that's where you can get these pigments, okay? So that's the waters. Then I've got some greenery here. So I'm gonna be using Echo Echeveria. I think that's how you pronounce it, Echeveria. And then for this balloon, I'm going to use two colors only, which are Nightfall and Twilight. And then for this guy, I'm gonna make them rainbow because I just kind of Googled hot air balloons and all the hot air balloons I saw on Google images was like multicolored rainbows. So this guy's gonna be a rainbow balloon. And the colors I'm using, starting with red, are maraschino, mango, submarine, then I've got lily pad, followed by unicorn, then I've got constellation, followed by crescendo, then I have fairy floss, and then lastly we've got sangria. So kind of like rainbow colors there. Did I do that right? Yeah, looks about right. So those are the colors I'm using. And then, then I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna do here on the edges. Um, I also have uh, Simplicity, which is just a white, which might end up being just the top here in the balloons or like the bas The basket's gonna be, I don't know, I haven't figured that out yet. Maybe I'll leave it black, I don't know. We'll see how it looks. I'm still going thinking. Now you're probably wondering what these are in here. I, just so that I know when I'm doing my my colors and I don't screw up and put the wrong color in the wrong channel. I just took a metallic marker. This one's an Arteza marker. And I just kind of put like a circle here, a circle here, line, 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 circle, 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 X, 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 just kind of so that when I'm pouring my color in, I know which channel to follow and I don't mess up. So here I did a square, 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 square. Uh, Z, 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 triangle, 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 yada, yada. You get the idea. It's just for me to know, you know, what channel I should be putting the next color in because if you screw up, it's going to look ridiculous. Unless you just do random colors and do whatever you want. But I'm trying to keep, you know, a design because that's how they were on Google. They were all like in a design, right? Or you can just do colors this way. You can do one color another color, another color, one, one, and one. You could totally do that too, but I like to make my life difficult. So I'm gonna go diagonal and do all the colors of the rainbow. All right, so that being said, if anyone has questions, 
you can put it in the comment section below and I will answer your questions, okay? And like, oops, did I knock my camera? And like I said, check out my previous videos for like the full, full tutorial, like from start to finish. So once I get my colors in and it cures, I am going to do a clear coat top layer and then it'll be done. Okay, I'll peel the tape off and then it shall be done. All right, so that's it. I am going to mix a little bit of resin and I am gonna get started. So there's gonna be a lot of sped up process. I'll try to bring you guys in close up and there's gonna be a lot of music in the background and I'm gonna get started. So I'll see you guys in a bit.
All right, everybody, I am finally, finally done. Um, so that took a ridiculously long time. That was probably about two and a half hours and I did it over a span of two days. So I did the first half yesterday and then the second half this morning because um, it was just exhausting, tiring. But I love the end result. It is so perfect. So I did tell you at the beginning of the video the colors I was using for everything. Um, I did use white, which was simplicity for the white. And then I used um, blue eyes for the sky. Um, and then for the little brown basket, I think it was cappuccino. Um, so those are the three colors I did not mention at the beginning because I hadn't figured out what I wanted to do yet. Now, I did use a lot of resin, um, and I had a lot of excess resin. That's what I mean. Um, but that's okay, because with the excess resin, I made myself a little salamander. How cute is he? Right? So, my kids will love it. And then, here's another one that is going to dry. And then, I, I made way too much blue, so I made some starfish. Always have some silicone molds on hand for your leftover resin you might as well make something out of it it could be a nice paperweight i don't know so i am going to let this cure and then i'm going to do one final clear coat on top and then it will be done and then i'll peel the tape off the bottom and it shall be finished so i'm gonna let this cure and then i will be back with a final top coat and then peel off the tape and then I will show you guys the final results. Alrighty, I am back with the final step. Finally, well, second to last final step. So I have gone ahead and cleared some, cleared. I, I'm just, I've gone ahead and mixed some clear resin. All right, and now I've made sure there's no fluffs or dusts or musts or whatever on this board. And I'm going to pour my clear coat on top. Like, I mean, you can leave it as is if you want to give it that 3D feeling, you know, look um, or feel. But I kind of want to cover it. So there we go. I'm going to heat it up with my heat gun. I shall spread it uh, make sure all my edges have a nice clear coat check in the messages so today it's been very mild and like like rainy snow if that even makes sense so everything has melted and turned into slush which is the worst I would rather it just snow and snow and snow um, it's funny because for once I would love to get a dumping of snow to the point where, you know, you can't do anything. You can't go anywhere. Today the buses were canceled so the kids didn't go to school. But I would love it if it just, we got pounded with snow and then the kids can go out and play in the snow. I mean like a lot of snow. That would be cool. All right, so I'm just using my fingers to spread this around. Make sure every channel and crevice has resin in it. Don't miss any spots. All right. Make sure your corners are covered nicely. So I, I did quite a bit of resin because I want to make sure there's enough. See, it was nothing here this is why i like using my hands because as i go across like this i can feel if there's a bare spot because my hand kind of stops over it i think that is good awesome all right that takes care of that looks like i've got everything so i'm going to take my glove off put that in there i'm going to use my heat gun and pop all the bubbles again
All right, so that is it. I'm going to check it for any fluffs if there, and if there's anything there, I will use my tweezers, which are over here. I shall use my tweezers to take off any fluff or any blemishes or anything I may see, but it's looking pretty good. Yeah, looks great. So I'm gonna give this about five minutes for any more air bubbles to surface. And then I'm just gonna use my torch and just lightly torch it for any last minute bubbles. So that's it. I'm done with this. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to peel the tape off the back and show you guys the final results. Okay, everybody, back for the final step. Before I do that, I wanted to show you guys my little salamander. Look how cute he is. Demolded him this morning. Isn't he cute? So, you know, you could do a lot of things with any excess resin, you know, give them, give this to your kids, your grandkids. And then here are the stars that I did with the excess blue resin that I had, right? Super cute. Use them as a paperweight, do whatever you want, but at least you made something out of the resin that was left over. All right, so, this is now done. Let me flip it around for you guys. Look at that. So cool. So now we are going to, oops, this way, take off the tape from the back. So what you want to do is never, ever, ever touch the resin and, you know, try and avoid touching any part of the resin. I don't like touching any part of it. So I'm going to take my heat gun. I'm going to heat up the edges like so, just, you know, heat up the edges. And then I'm going to peel off the tape and you will see it'll peel off like butter. So let me do that. I'll speed you guys up a little bit um, and then we'll peel it off. have it my friends it is done nice clean edges beautiful crisp clean back look at that no seepage nothing and see this is why I tell you guys even something as simple as dollar store tape is very effective as long as you know how to put it on properly so look at that look how perfect that is it is so perfect I'm so happy with this piece. So let me put this down. I'll flip you guys around and I'll bring you guys in for an actual really good close up. And there you have it, my friends. It is done, flawless, finished, and I am absolutely loving it. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Now you've got a few little spots here. That is the powder that didn't get mixed up really, really well. So when you're mixing your pigments into your resin, you gotta make sure it is really, 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 really mixed up well and dissolved, because you will get these little freckles. Um, but I don't mind it one bit. I think it looks absolutely perfect. Um, this is on a 14 by 14 inch board. Um, it is available for purchase. If anyone who is interested, you can email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. I'm just, I love the colors. Like I love the rainbow design that I did. Like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And then I added pink because, you know, who doesn't like pink and, and what one? Sangria, that was sangria. My little brown baskets. So I'm really, really happy with how that turned out. And I'd love to know what you guys think about it in the comments. This is like ridiculously time consuming though. So keep that in mind. You know, you can totally take your time doing like little sections at a time. Like you can just do, you know, the waves first and then just do one balloon and then do another balloon and then maybe just do the skyline. Like you could totally do this over many days, you know. Um, so it doesn't really matter. It's not like you're doing a blowout or something and you have to do it all in one shot. 
So yeah, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. The information for the stencils for pour away fluid art is in the description below the video. Don't forget, you can get a discount as well. Uh, discount for crystal resin as well. Um, yeah, and if you wanna come to San Diego, uh, come and see us, uh, San Diego, California, information below, or come and see us at uh, Asheville, North Carolina, or wait till July and come and see myself and someone special in July in Florida. All right, so if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Um, and that is about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye.